Yo, I'm Bob. Totally blind since birth into Power Rangers. This is part two of the Astro Megazord review. So the unboxing is done. Uh, I have played around with this thing. Tried to watch a few video reviews on YouTube uh, as to transforming this thing. Because it's a little different, I do believe, from the one I owned back in the day. But not, not too different. I like to think... I like to think uh, with some doing, it is possible to, to transform this. So you got to turn the, the feet before you, you transform this thing. And they're, they're on very tight joints, so I'm kind of afraid of breaking this thing. But so far, so good, I'd like to, I'd like to think. All right, so we need to get these hips around this way, all the way around this way, I think. Um, okay, yeah, th these are slightly different from uh, when I was a kid in terms of how you get these around, but comes right down. This leg comes right around like that, if I'm doing it right. I think I am. All right, now this one. Just a bit of finagling with this guy here. This goes around like this, and then you got to move this hip joint around. It's going to take me some getting used to with this one. Um, hey. Okay, this is down. we got to get these legs twisted around this way. I feel like the one I had from the 90s. You just kind of brought these down, you rotated them around, and uh, you were done. I think the, the upper hip joints have a little bit of stuff that you got to do to um, get this to where it needs to be. You got to rotate the, the tops of the hips as well as the, the feet themselves, whereas I feel like the other one was just a little more cut and dried. We're almost done, actually. So I'm bringing the little clips around, clipping them in right there, bringing down the arms. I'm trying to hold this as 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 I uh, transform it here okay these we'll bring the arms up a little and we'll rotate the fists around yeah you can raise the arms like that um, the skirt pieces are gonna have to come down and they go around to the other sides like that let me rotate these fists around with their right side up. There's our Megazord body, just a sec. One thing I didn't show last time was the shuttle attached to its rocket boosters, which you could do with the old uh, 1998 version. I like that we're allowed to do this with the new version as well. Really cool configurations with the Astro Megaship and Megazord. I, I really do like this look for the shuttle here. We saw it taking off like this uh, in the last episode of Turbo as they were off to search for Zordon. So I'm going to take the shuttle off of its booster there. Not too much work in terms of turning it into a head. So there's the Megazord's head. I'm going to grab big boy here. Uh, we have to do put the head on the Megazord. If I can find a little connector port here, it looks like I've only done this a couple times. It's not that different from the other from the other version, the older version. There we go. All right, 
So I've heard that the um, some of the some of the clips on the arms have broken on certain Megazords. Mine is fine so far. So here is the Astro Megazord in all of his glory, and he is a big boy. He is bigger than the uh, Dino Megazord. When it came to transforming him, rotating the hips and things, um, I couldn't find any video reviews, you know, actually going through it verbally. So I've kind of tinkered with this thing for a while. I will say, uh, even though it is ever so slightly different from the, the 98 version, it's not that difficult once you, you get the lay of the land, so to speak, when it comes to transforming this guy. He's pretty simple to transform. All right, now we're going to show his weapons. My favorite part. Oh, shh. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't know it unpaused. So, he's a big boy. I'm trying to <laughs> hold him up here where you can see his stuff. So, I've only got him holding the Astro Megazord Blaster. Boy, he's, he's huge. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this stuff very well. He's stepping on the, 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 the mouse pad here. He's that big. Um, let's see if we, we can move him back a little bit because he's, he's a bigger boy. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. He's just so tall. Trying to measure uh, his his weapons here. I don't really know if you're going to be able to see that. Um, I guess if I turn him this way, it's the only way you're going to be able to look at his blaster there that he's got. Um, yeah, this isn't going as good as I'd like. All right, here is his shield in his left hand. You got to work at it to uh, get it into the left hand here. I think it also actually can uh, strap onto one of his arms, attaching to the wheel there. Maybe we'll take a look at that in a, a future video. But yeah, I love the Astro Megazord Blaster. Used to love the sound effects on that thing when it would fire on the show. All right. All right, and he is ready to finish off a monster. Got the Astro Megazord Saber in his right hand. He's just so big, I'm not really sure if you're gonna be able to see it. Um, kinda got him holding it like that. Here he is, head on. He is huge. <laughs> Maybe I can tilt him a little bit. Got the Saber there. It's a massive Saber too. I gotta say, I give him a 10 out of 10. Uh, the rotating upper hips were a little bit tricky to figure out for me, but after, you know, some finagling and me being really anxious about breaking it, I figured it out. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's a really cool product. I, I have to say out of the, the Dino Megazord and Astro Megazord, I think I like this one a bit better. He feels very sturdy, very durable, super glad that he, <laughs> that he hasn't broken um he just feels really durable let me show you something else though i was doing some tinkering with this guy since i own the the 90s version and he really does look like he is suitable for a delta megazord to come along and transform along with him because all you have to do to get him in uh astro delta megazord preparation mode you, you flip the head up like that because that's where Delta Megazords or the front of his visor would go. You, you know, you, you turn the fists around facing that way. That's where Delta Megazords uh, little rocket boosters would, would attach on the back there. Um, his legs, of course, were designed to fit Delta Megazords legs. Looks like they've already got the connector ports for those on the, uh, on the fronts of the legs there. And, you know, here 
across the the chest on either side here we've got these these ports where delta megazord himself could plug in forming the the hands and the um the gatling guns that would go you know up across this guy's shoulders here so hopefully we'll get a delta megazord at some point in the lightning collection i'd also love to see the mega voyager and the mega winger so we could kind of complete our power rangers in space zord system uh, these were some of my favorites from from the earlier seasons and i gotta say i really love what they've done with with astro megazord here looking forward to hopefully a delta megazord at some point because uh, I, I would love to form astro delta megazord um when it comes to a flying power punch feature we don't need the you know the, the spring action fist but i mean you can just you know pull those off and maybe have them on a display stand to you know to showcase the the power punch finishing move that he would do um when it comes to astro megazord though yeah i'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10 i i really hope that those of you who, who pick him up that the there aren't any you know breakage and things like that mine seems to be working okay for for now uh, he seems sturdy very durable um i just had a bit of trouble with the hips but once i learned how to rotate those around properly i mean he's he's just as functional as the one i used to own uh, i don't remember if this step was exactly like the old one i think in the 98 version you just kind of uh you open the feet you rotate them a little bit and then you just push them down to where they met below his his uh, his waist but i like him a lot i like that he comes with uh, you know the sword shield things like that i don't know if you're going to be able to see the uh the little rangers in the cockpit but if you you can open the uh the astro megazord shuttle or the cockpit and take a look at the rangers so you can open up the, the little cockpit there and they're they're not removable but i love that little feature I, we do get some mini figures i'm not going to be able to tell who they are at all but this feature right here is enough for me just to see them sitting in there like that that is so cool probably can't see them at all but they are in there neat little feature there so got it back in ship mode here i just love that you can dock the nasada shuttle there with the the ship and uh there's a there's a little trick to getting it to stay in there you've got to kind of hold it as you close the uh the docking cord up so it can stay aligned here there we go and i like how the uh, the wings the top things the things the top wings of the shuttle the fins on top are a little more sturdy than the uh, the 90s version mine never did bend but it looked prone to, uh, to a little bit of bendage something i forgot to show yesterday and you're not going to be able to see it i'm sure but the uh, cockpit of the the mega ship itself can open got your bridge you got the rangers <laughs> i can't remember which review i watched uh, but they mentioned it was a blank screen in terms of what the rangers were looking at so i guess things took time to buffer in uh, in the 90s but i love this release uh hopefully there are going to be some positive experiences out there i will say the the right arm on my my astro megazord mega ship um is ever so slightly well it's not bent but it doesn't seem to be facing as as straightforward as the left i think it is though um it's just a it's gonna take some finagling with it but yeah i i like the set quite a bit cannot wait for more in space releases as part of the zord ascension project and I guess I'll hear you guys next time. I'm going to practice and see if I can't get the, uh, the feet and the hips to turn a little better. Power protect you and all that good stuff. Okay.